Ever wondered about the intricacies and profound meanings embedded in the rituals and laws of the Old Testament? How do these rules from thousands of years ago connect with our faith today? In the heart of the Leviticus, we find some of the most detailed and profound systems and laws in the Old Testament. This playbook for the Israelites' high priest describes everything from offerings and food laws to the year of Jubilee and the Day of Atonement. The sacrificial system, for instance, with its detailed rituals for burnt offerings, grain offerings, peace offerings, sin offerings, and guilt offerings, isn't merely historical data. Can you imagine the sanctity and the weight of this process? These age-old rituals were not only means of worship but also served as constant reminders for us about our need for atonement and reconciliation with God. Another fascinating component of Leviticus is the division of clean and unclean foods. Why these? Ever questioned why shellfish was off-limits? Or why pork was prohibited? Maybe these laws prompt us to reflect upon how our everyday choices impact our spiritual health and relationship with God. The year of Jubilee, a time of debt forgiveness and slaves' freedom return every 50 years, echoes a divine assurance of compassion and economic justice. Encourage people to treat those in distress with greater compassion and kindness. Through Leviticus, we are also introduced to the Day of Atonement, the most vital annual Jewish Holy Day. A day of national repentance and divine forgiveness. Can you see how deeply this infiltrates our need for atonement and mercy from God? In some, Leviticus may seem dense, full of rituals and laws, but it's not just amongst the dusty pages of an old book. Here, we meet a compassionate God teaching his people, us, how to live physically and spiritually. From Leviticus, we glean the essence of sacrifice, holiness, forgiveness, and practice of faith. Imagine how our lives will transform spiritedly embracing these teachings and cultivating them in our daily lives. May you continue gathering wisdom from these ancient texts, drawing closer in your relationship with God. For in understanding these rich customs and complex laws, you understand. Even more, the heart of God himself.